I wanted to do a quick review of the camera that I have used for seven years now. This is the GH5, the Panasonic GH5. This is a micro four thirds camera. Micro four thirds nowadays, I don't think anybody uses them. Everybody goes to Sony or full frame. Back in 2016, these cameras were incredible. Now the craziest thing about this, and this film's 4K, but the 1080p even on this thing still holds up today. I mean, it, I've shot commercials with this. I've shot so many videos with this camera. It is absolutely incredible and it still holds up today. So any of you that are, you know, picking up some camera gear or looking at getting into some video, you really do not need the newest and greatest cameras out there. I think something I've been a little frustrated by with the camera makers nowadays is honestly every single six months there's a new camera coming out you know the the mark II, mark three mark four um they're literally just coming out with me it's like the iphone where you have to just keep upgrading where the camera makers i mean they're in it to make money i get that but they just continually put out these things and cause us maybe it's a fault of our own but cause us to feel the need to jump over spend a bunch more money and jump to the the new model and really that's not the case and anybody that's filming video we're doing um, social media content that and you've probably heard this but it's honestly use what you have and go and create something awesome like i've said this camera from 2016 i i have three of these uh there's another case where we needed um, three cameras on a speaker and these things crushed it uh the i mean even the low light is great on them the gh5s which we also has is phenomenal in low light and again that came out in 20 gh5s came out in 2017 so they're old cameras by today's standard, but yet they still produce incredible work. So whatever camera you have, learn it to the absolute max and make it work for you. It's the, the newest camera is not going to immediately just make you better at filming better shots or better video. It all comes down to really understanding your camera, the tones, the color tones, the how to expose, whether Here's an example. One of our acquaintances, Sean, actually uses a Sony camera. And I had the hardest time figuring out how to adjust lighting. Well, I've come to find out with Sony cams, you overexpose it, like plus two stops, which GH5 and GH5S, you don't. You keep it right in the center, maybe a hair overexposed, but just barely, and you can make it look epic. But Sony cams, for whatever reason, you overexpose it from the metering on whatever it's reading the light, and that's how you get good shots anyways. All I have to say is whatever camera you have, you can make it work and make it look absolutely phenomenal.